I will find out the name from the name list, then I will say because this three I have get it, but your name was not known to me. So you see, within the world, I am doing one shadow work. It is again a methodology. It is again a methodology. Because I don't want to lose any particular second. Because I wanted to have this WhatsApp group needs to be generated by 7 p.m. to this evening. Okay. So again, I go to drop. Senior faculty member from the senior officers. How can we concentrate on positivity? See, whatever discussion we are dealing, whatever subject we are learning, basically attitude. Attitude, attitude, and attitude. Ethics is a thing which is a very jugglery word. If I give Mani Kosika to murder her, so unless until he murder her, he will not win the game. So to him, he will be unethical. And from he or the society will trigger him as unethical person. So ethics and unethics depend on the times, zone, and the issue and the person concern. Which one is unethical to her, highly ethical to her? Maybe because our needs, taste, flavor may change passage of time. So, during my classes, I will say in this picture of many more falsification, fabrication, misconduct, many more. So, let's we will now listen from Kosik. Thank you, Nimaita. So, my third one. My third tomorrow we have one more class. And tomorrow, uh, you see that in the notice or routine, I have given 21 as reserve day. If you require any more classes, if we fail to take any classes, if I think that I'm not able to complete the courses within the Monday, so that is why Tuesday is the result, so that you can block your day, that this course may extend till Tuesday. So on your requirement, if you say, my sir or Patu sir or Tuesday sir, any particular agenda, we require one more classes, I will figure it on Tuesday. Okay, so take it that way. Okay, thank you, Nimaita. So it's my great privilege and honor to be here. So first of all, good afternoon to you all. So hope you are enjoying our research methodology class from morning today. And uh, today, as mentioned earlier in our uh, coordinator, Dr. Nima Chan Saha, that today is the historical day for us because from the library side, from the Vishwabharati Library Network side, we are providing the single window uh, course curriculum, work like the code, uh, uh, Figure study, environment study in such a way. So according to the UGC regulation, according to the <laughs> UGC syllabus, according to the guidelines, we are follow TOTO at part with the <laughs> syllabus. That's why our coordinator divided in such a segment. So from today, as you know, this terminology, plagiarism very important and burning issue today. Why it is burning? Because so many incidents we are already heard in newspaper, in breaking news, from the vice chancellor, from the researcher, from the contributor, from the uh, HOD, from the principal side too. So we should be cautious in case of plagiarism. And as you know, there are so many such kind of similarity checking software at present we, uh, at available in the market according to the guidelines of the UGC. At present, we are now using the original. Before we are used the Utun, now we are now using the original supported by the Tarnitin. And this such kind of software provided from the InflipNet information library network, sister concern of the UGC. Hope few 
you are all familiar with the terminology in flipnet i n f l i b n e t how many you are familiar with the terminology in flipnet because we can say this is the system concern of the ugc headquarter of the ahmedabad gujarat as you know government of india taken so many digital initiatives few of the digital initiatives are open digital initiatives and all such kind of digital initiatives are maintained and provided from the infinite center so my delivery sent today start from the infinite center then we have a few ppts then after completion of my ppt my i will complete this dem demonstration as hands on hands on training to the software to web and this original software is the web based software and my i will send you my ppt and in near future with the discuss with the coordinator for your exam purpose for your multiple choice question purpose my ppt is sufficient for you so i start my journey from the infinite this is the home page of the infinite and without the research ethics there is a relationship with the research ethics and plagiarism without the the basic theoretical part is the research ethics of plagiarism now my intention to show the hands on training practical training mechanism and how to work the similarity checking and before going to deliberation one important aspect i furnish to you that being a library professional at, at and during my professional journey i have completed my uh, phd last couple of few years back from the cultural studies in the multidisciplinary concept because ugc at present as now emphasizing the multidisciplinary concept from two different dis discipline maybe education along with the music maybe science along with the music like music therapy and in such a way at present ugc emphasizing so that's why i have a experience with the multidiscipline concept and according to my knowledge concern one of the important part of your important chapter literature review is your very very important chapter of your research journey and this literature journey you have to collect your information whatever it may be the primary sources of information tertiary sources of information and secondary sources of information one pamphlet one newspaper clipping is also important for your journey and being a in charge of the journal section as i just discharging my duties as a journal or e journal or online databases or the uh, e journal and so on so journal is also very important part in literature review as well as your journey because i am just furnishing this such kind of information come to an end to the plagiarism this is the introductory part of this plagiarism because during your journey according to the ugc latest regulation you have to publish to to publication related to your theme and hopefully most of the journal publication more than 90% is now available at web www so before your journey before your submission of your thesis you have to publish at least two publication in your very reputed journals peer review journals ugc listed journals so which is available in the web and these publication hopefully at par with your research team hopefully maximum cases and during your submit final submission of your thesis at the end of your journey in any software like original like turnitin like utpun and many more i will show you the my during my slides and this web based your 
credential incorporated during the plagiarism. And it will be reflected your similarity percentage high. According to the UGC regulation, up to 10%, up to 10% similarity is allowed. And above 10%, there are so many clauses I will show you according to the UGC regulation. But how to avoid the percentage is the self plagiarism. And if your supervisor, if your guide shows this is the self plagiarism, this is your own publication, which is incorporated in the mechanism. And there is a provision to reduce this percentage. That's why we have at present our university, the latest regulation on plagiarism. Before we have no such kind of plagiarism policy. And this policy almost at par with the UGC. I'll show you. And before the policy of the Baida University, Basically, myself, on behalf of Central Library, creates all more than 90% analysis during the time before policy. But the new policy, which is already published in university, which is available in the Vishwabharati website, uh, Nimad already mentioned in, the, the, in his introductory lecture, the notification told us that Supervisor, either supervisor or allied subject expert have to submit this thesis, his or her thesis, to his or her analysis account. Because if I now, after the publication of the uh, regulation, if I create, create your analysis report during your submission, the report will be reflected my name and my analysis account, which technically disqualified by the new regulation. That's why from supervisor point of view, from the senior faculty members point of view, because you are the young generation, you should, should know the mechanism of the original or mechanism of the plagiarism software so that you can help by handling the software. And according to me, this is very easier. And according to me, this is easier than the Facebook. Very simple. So let's start. <coughs> because from morning you are now listening ethics, ethics, ethics. Because ethics is very related to the plagiarism. Now I am the converting, try to my demonstration with the very useful as well as the enthusiastic for you. And that's why I will show you from direct demo along with the few website and few tutorial too. So this is the website. And my humble request to you, please follow the Vishwabharati Library Network website, very user-friendly website, all such kind of resources and facilities and services is available in the Vishwabharati Library Network. Follow the Influibnet website and follow our Vishwabharati website for latest uh, notification. Basically, we are not the faculty member, we are the practitioner. And it is very pity that we have no allies department. So journey starts and hopefully in near future, our university will introduce the Department of Library and Information Science, hopefully. Okay. So, before starting this, safety and security competition, just we have said that uh, for PhD, just for, for competition of PhD, two papers are needed. At least. At least two papers. At least two papers related to your team, either peer review or UGC enlisted. So, my question is is there any classification like for journal or for any? Conference. No, actually, this is the this is the article publication. Conference and yes, your publication may be from the conference proceedings because you have to fulfill five criteria 
during your submission of the journey. This is the separate issue. Actually, five criteria. Regular basis of coursework, one. Two publication, at least from at least from the one journal. At least from journal and another from any conference proceedings, two. And two presentation. Presentation may be from conference proceedings or seminar. Okay. So coursework, two, two publication, three presentation, four external evaluator, two external evaluator, it, it, this is the internal uh, official matter, it will be happen. And another one I cannot remember at present. This criteria, you should have to follow this five criteria because after receiving your final certificate, you have to apply it to the academic research for these purposes for five criteria, fulfill the criteria. These are separate issues. And university will give you, after examining your testimonial, is a separate certificate that you have fulfilled the, your PhD curriculum with following the five criteria. This is the separate certificate other than the final certificate. Okay. So all this depends on the university, like Delhi University and uh, This is the UGC. Because all the central universities are at par with the UGC. This this uh, today's curriculum, the syllabus is almost with the UGC. Okay, Shyam, you have heard the uh, heard the terminology Shyam curriculum. Shyam Shyam Shyam. So this is the at par. Okay. So these are the major activities and there are different activities because open access initiatives for all need not require any user ID and password, open access. But in case of the few close access, being a central university, being an institutional membership, we are access, we are provided the Ishod Sindhu, Ishod Sindhu, and so many, this is the separate issue. We need a separate class for digital initiatives, open access initiatives taken by the government of India, maintained by the internet. Just I am come to the point, e shod suddhi. How many of you are familiar with the terminology shod suddhi? This is the shod suddhi platform for plagiarism. This plagiarism such kind of Software maintained by the Inflipnet, provided by the government of India, basically MOE, Ministry of Education, is from this platform. And this is the Shod Suddhi for plagiarism. It will be important for your multiple question also. <coughs> because there are, there are so similar such kind of terminology. Shod Sindhu, Shod Suddhi, Shod Ganga, Shod Gangotri, there are so many. Like one question, which terminology is related to the plagiarism? Just for example. So this is the platform, this is the about, this is the beneficiary institution. Just I show you the beneficiary institution, category wise institution. This the, we are belong from the central university. This is the other central open, deem university, deem university private, and we are belong from the central university at present 52 central university. So these are the list, these are the state, these are the coordinator name. We are belong last due to V, not, not the position. We are belong V last due to V, not the position. Okay. Vishwa for V. This is the West Bengal. The, our coordinator is the Dr. Nima Saha librarian. He's the coordinator of this. Okay. And these are the few other benefits. Now I come to the my PPT first. Then, okay, before going to PPT, I will show you our university, our university notification on plagiarism. You should collect this PPT from the university website. This is the 
plagiarism policy by the university published from the academic research. All such kind of publication, notification is from academic research. <laughs> and this uploaded on 23rd, 12, 2021 and which is almost at par which is almost at par with the UGC this is the definition I am not going through the all details I will show you the few important parts this is the awareness program and training as you know basically Vishwa Bharati Library Network used to organize such kind of special session throughout the month twice in a month basically and all such kind of presentation the video mode of presentation is available in our youtube channel too this is the 13 pages notification this is the level of plagiarism i will show you during the ppt so courses from start from your journey and my my supervisor my i have two supervisor principal supervisor professor udoy nayan singh is the one of the legendary figure in the field of linguistics and another my supervisor is the dr v k thoma former university librarian and i am the pioneer he is the master of the uh, such kind of plagiarism. Uh, during his old age, he just uh, updated yourself through YouTube and I learned from him basically. And he told me that to avoid the percentage, the similarity percentage to recognition. Recognition is the mool mantra. Recognition, you have to submit or incorporate another information, published information from different sources, but you, you have to recognition. Recognition through in-text citation, recognition through in-text citation. There are two types of in-text citation. One is reference and another is bibliography, and you have to recognition. So recognition is the mul mantra to avoid the percentage, because the definition triggers from any example, any formula, you have to copy same toto. Removal, all everything is available there. So undertaking this, this is the very, uh, you are fortunate enough. Basically the brainchild of the, our Nimaida, this, uh, this policy already published on the academic research, but Nimaida is the one of the important member to create such kind of policy. And we, this is the annexation one, very important for you. This is the undertaking for uh, plagiarism policy. And this is the, another uh, plagiarism inclusion certificate from the supervisor. This is the ready-made uh, certificate is also available there. And this is the another annex of three. The, uh, these are the very important during your journey. Now you start your journey just as a coursework. And after completion of our uh, coursework, you have to Go this, way. this is the syllabus, this is the app with the UGC, this is the software, today's <laughs> deliberation, and this is the almost. So now I'm going to my PPT. So the tagline before going to my deliberation safe practice safe career because after your award of the thesis your supervisor your institution your hod your principal and you if it will be plagiarized for near future for any cases then it will be simultaneously you are all responsible so that's why my tagline is safe practice, safe career. Like safe drive, 
Save life. <laughs> So I am not going through what is research, 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 because all the presenters have already told what is research, research, research. This is the very elusive starts because without so much. Okay. What is okay? Okay. 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 Without the research ethics, without few terminology, I'm not going to the uh, plagiarism part. To start the journey, this is the circle from one to three. This is the very important uh, before going to start your journey, before going to start your collection of the data for the literature, literature, literature thinking an idea, transform the idea into question, literature review. And from my side, my humble request to you, if you complete your literature review in very serious manner, in near future, it help us a lot. Because this enriched literature review reflected at the end text of citation like bibliographical literature. And those who are basically belong from the humanities and social science, Please try to collect the primary sources of information like pamphlet, newspaper clippings too. Keyword catch question again. This is the result flowchart component of research process. I am skipping, okay. Uh, this is the very important part of it. This, uh, this is the reference and bibliography. This is the difference between the reference and bibliography. It will be reflected in your question also. This is the citation. This is the in-text citation. There are different style manuals. My advice to you, those who are basically belongs from the humanities and social science, APA latest is very comfortable for you. And you may incorporate your research styles either through reference management tools, either Jotero or Mendeley. But my suggestion is that my preference is that if you it is better to use the MS Word in text citation and referencing. If time permit, in another, I will show you how to create through machine your in text citation and in text citation to MS Word. Very unique feature. Okay. So you are all almost you are few of them are familiar. This is the citation basics. This is the research ethics. From morning to afternoon, you have already used this terminology. And uh, this is the UGC mandate. I'm not going through the UGC mandate, which is at par with the Vishwabharati rules. And this UGC mandate is also available. Because due to the PPT, I have already created few important snapshot of the uh, UGC mandate. And this is the latest UGC regulation and mandate, which is published on the 2018. This is the first page. This is the very important announcement from the UGC point of view on 20, 2029. Uh, this is the declaration on self-plagiarism by the UGC. I will send you my PPT to you all, so you may follow. Sir, what is the meaning of mandate? Mandate the regulation, basically. You have to follow. <laughs> Without this is the publication of mandate. This is the first and foremost you have to follow. 
Uh, rules and regulations. There is no alternative. And actually, according to me, that every year it will be changed and edited and modified through the through the uh, another meeting. So mandate will be changed in such a way. So this is the very important part for you, for UGC care list journal. So I have another class of uh, hopefully the after tomorrow on pretty ready journal. So within this one, hundred, one hour time journey, it is not possible to show you, but I will show you how to select, how to select your subject related journal from the UGC care list and how to registration by yourself. The mandatory you have to enter, the mandatory you have to enter before the UGC care list, just simple registration. Hope you are all having your Vishwabharati mail ID, that is the Vishwabharati.ac.in. How many you have not at, uh, received the Vishwabharati uh, mail ID? How many? So please collect the Vishwabharati mail ID because Vishwabharati mail ID, that is the Vishwabharati.ac.in, this is the Vishwabharati domain, is very important for you. This Vishwabharati mail is very important for NDLI, for Asian archives, for UGC care list, and many more. Research gate also mandatory, and many more. But simple, at our university, I will show you how to collect, and hope you are all having the MOE Wi-Fi user ID password, hopefully all. If not by you, then in our university, there is a ready-made form. Download the form, print out, and su submit to the in computer department through Popper channel, along with both mail ID as well as the MOE Wi-Fi connection. Why MOE connection is very important for you? Why? Because all the e-resources subscribed by us is accessible through IP enabled. All the e-resources subscribed by us are accessible through, through IP enabled. If you are using the MOE connection, all the e-resources, whatever it may be, the e-journal, online databases, and e-journal accessible through MOE. And there is another option from your drawing room. The formula is wherever you go, library is with you. How? Through remote access. This is the separate issue. <coughs> Through remote access, you have to extract our e-resources from, from your drawing room, from any network other than AMU. So this is the kono bore hole bolbe kono question hole bolbe you may ask any question okay i am not the teacher i am not the just library professional just practitioner what is plagiarism <coughs> just very simple solution plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own with or without their consent by incorporating it into your work without citation and reference. This is the very simple definition. I have already mentioned during my deliberation. Plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own. Without recognition. Recognition key, you have to recognition through intake citation or intake citation. In text within your paragraph, in text either your chapter as reference or at the end of the your thesis as the book. <coughs> Why it happens? Intentionally, carelessness, and lack of knowledge about plagiarism. And these three points. I copy from my supervisor, from Dr. D.K. Thomas, with recognition. 
Oke. Okay. Udah direkop nih. Hah? Ayo nih kita Oke, okay, I will answer at the, uh, at the end of my deliberation, oke? Okay? Sorup not sorta. Oke. Okay. Huh? Oke. Okay. I mean last question answer. <laughs> Why plagiarism software? Actually this is the computer at the Bangla sana boka baksho. Boka baksho bole bodhai. So according to my knowledge concern Plagiarism software is just like a boka baksho because they check the similarity checking, which is available in the web. As for example, books, there are two types of books. One is the pin books, one is the e-books. Basically, resource is the two types. One is P, one is E. Like we have eight lakhs P book, pin books. Apart from the pin books, only 30,000 books digitized and uploaded in NDLI. It is a National Digital Library Project conducted by the Government of India, maintained by IIT Kharagpur. So rest of the P-book is not available in the web. So if we just, I mean, if we copying the books, basically belong from the P, which is not available as the E platform, and copying directly from my thesis, it will not reflect it in the such kind of similarity software. That's why it is called just, according to me, Boca Paxo like Boca software. They, they just check similarity. I will show you during my hands-on time. time ডিমেন citing, referencing, bibliographies. And if possible, live from image office. This is my suggestion. Okay. This is the regulation of UGC. This is the very important part copying from the regulation for <coughs> plagiarism for faculty, for staff, for researchers, from the gadget. And from the students' role, the, the university role, the program curriculum, and this is the script. Few important code copying from the UGC regulation. <coughs> and these are the objectives on plagiarism by the university. Curbing plagiarism, continuation, and This is the level of plagiarism, very important for you. There are four levels of plagiarism. Plagiarism would be quantified into following levels in ascending order, like level zero, level one, level two, level three. Similarities up to 10%. This is the minor similarities, no penalty. You have to submit. You are allowing to submit if your similarity is up to 10%. And Very, very important for you that before, uh, before your journey, you were separal, separately, separately submitted your chapter one, two, three, four in the open or in the uh, original. But according to the new regulation, official, uh, it is applicable in case of official, uh, official software, you have to submit your final thesis once before just before printing just after completion of your work mind it this is the final and last chance you have to check through open source software you have to check through grammarly or quillboard or many more open source software but we are using the original you have to submit your final thesis just printing before printing once and 
just note down for your information that during your submission, it will be later, you have to create a one single file. You have to create a one single file from introduction to conclusion. From introduction to chapter one, two, three, four, up to conclusion. Excluding, excluding reference and bibliography. Excluding reference and bibliography and excluding the preliminary pages. Understand? Excluding the preliminary pages. What are the preliminary pages? Title, half title, content, table of content, certificate. These are the preliminary pages of your uh, journal. So you have to create a one single file from your total thesis, from introduction to conclusion, excluding and difference and bibliography, and file name. You have to incorporate this total thesis in a file, and file name rename as file name rename as title of the thesis by your name, title of the thesis by your name in English subtitle other than the English. Jadir English noy, tana English se debe. And title of, the, title of the file rename as title of the thesis by your name, okay? And those, how many you are now pursuing your PhD other than English? Like other regional language and Bengali? How many? One, two, other than English? like Bengali, Hindi, and other regional language. Mind it, you have to type, you have to select one font, which is Unicode comply. You are now typing the Uru here. In which language? You are from Ladakh. So your uh, script is Tibetan. You should follow one font, which is Unicode appliance. Without Unicode appliance, this software mismatch and result could not be possible to create a report or result. Mind it, okay? There are so many problems during the last journey, and they are now just like a pagol. Jamadite jatse, jujin word last date hoye diye se. O dekha jatse unicode support kore ni. Basically, it is for Hindi and regional Bengali languages. So those who are now pursuing their PhD journey other than English. In case of English, there is no problem. You may follow, submit either Word or PDF in any format. But other than English, you should follow the font. Like I use a one font, Obho in Bengali, Obho or Kalpurus, etc. Just uh, copy Kalpurus to the Google, and there is Wikipedia on Kalpurus, on Obho, and they're told this is Unicode or not, okay? So this is the level, the level two similarity above 10 to 40 percent, not possible to submit. I will show you later. Level two similarity above 40 to 60 percent, not possible to submit along with punishment. Level three similarity above 60 percent, not possible to submit along with punishment. That's why after the publication of our regulation on plagiarism, at present, every department having their departmental academic integrity panel, DAIP, each of the department having their departmental academic integrity panel. If the similarity or the significance is more than 10%, it will be the ball is now caught. No, it's actually the terminology is ball is. DAIP score. Okay. Then the percentage is more than 50 or more than 60. The ball is under the coat of AIIP, Institutional Academic Integrity Panel. At present, university having a Institutional Academic Integrity Panel. Okay. This is that as official matter. As a coach, it's more than 10%. Okay. Now, the next part is the final So, these are the penalties. I'm not, I'm skipping because I couldn't penalty soon. Let's make a matter of a penalty. So, you know, penalty time I skip coach. I'm now skipping the penalty deleted. It's better. No, <laughs> these are the penalties. 
not only your penalty, it is simultaneously applicable for your supervisor. Okay. So these are the plagiarism detecting software. This is the green, open, this is the red, purchase, subscribe. Okay. These are the doubly checker, copy paste. These are very important, open, but these are the few limitations. If you submit the total 100 pages, there is a limitation. You have to then purchase. But this is the red, this is the purchase, reputed plagiarism software. That is the at present we are now using the top one, original supported by Tarnitin. This is the Swedish software, Authenticate, Urkun, and Grammarly 2. This is the Grammarly, but premium version Grammarly we purchase. Quillboard 2 also. So you may check your article through Gamali because Gamali is also the also a research tools along with the uh, plagiarism checker. So now I come to the point the today's software original. O U R I G I. I'm not Bangali originally Bolbo. Original. Okay. Original is an award-winning software solution that combines text matching. I am not going through the details, the definition. This is the company definition. This is the original versatile text matching. This is the very important features of the original. These are the another important features of the original because I am now, I have already used Tarnitin, I have used it, uh, uh, Urkun, I have Authenticate. According to the comparative study and from the benefit of doubt for the research scholar, it is the best. Basically, in cricket, benefit of doubt goes to the batsman. And this feature is applicable in case of benefit of doubt goes to the research scholar. Like seamless integration, matrix, license content, fear, false, positive, detection, etc. Et so, few snapshots of how to enter the software from Google. This is the Google. This is the original. I will show you hands-on training to web. This is the homepage of the original. This is the logging. This is the username and password. This is the inside story of the original. This is the file uploading feature. This is the analysis address. This is how to upload your uh, article or thesis from the external device or from the computer. These are the significance or percentage. These are the open report. These are the similarity and analysis. These are the various feature of the analysis I will show you. So this, this, at the end of the interaction, so I will go to the directly. Sir. Okay, please. Word by word, word by word. It's a bullet of you If you copying at a stretch 13 words from any sources, it will be just checked through machine. Okay. So, <laughs> theoretical part, no question ask. If any uh, question. <laughs> so one question from chat, that one role how to collect my Vishwabharati mail ID, I will show you. Okay. So please concentrate and listen. This is the Vishwabharati website. I'm answering one question from the chat. And there is a download forms at the bottom. If you click the download forms, all university related forms are available. This is the first one, application form for MOE, uh, Wi-Fi and internet access. This is the ready-made form, which is available in the web. Those who are not yet collect the Vishwabharati mail ID and Wi-Fi, uh, user ID and password, MOE Wi-Fi user ID password. Please fill up the form through your proper channel and submit it through your existing mail ID and one existing 
mobile number wifi moe user id password they will arrange to send through your mobile and for bishwabharat the mail id from your existing mail they will arrange to send this cdp company so we have already already wifi and password for bishwabharat so this is the same same form so now i am just type the o u r i c i n a this is the home page of original and before going to enter the software i will show you three or four minutes one tutorial from original site are you worried about plagiarism and looking for an automated system that can help you detect plagiarism look no further Our original is a similarity detection solution that helps identify plagiarism by combining text matching with writing style analysis. It saves time by providing a similarity check in just a few clicks. It is easy to use with no installation required, which means that users can be set up in no time. Our solution can be used as a standalone product or can be seamlessly integrated with the learning management system of your choice. including Moodle, Blackboard, Canvas, Microsoft, and many more. Our system delivers accurate reports quickly and efficiently in an easy to read format. Multiple servers at independent sites help run the application smoothly, enhancing the stability of the system. With our original, you don't have to worry about the security of your data. We comply with the principles of GDPR and CCPA. and all your documents and data are treated with absolute confidentiality you always remain in full control of your data let our original help you establish an environment of honesty and academic integrity that facilitates original thinking and development among your users and students contact us today to know more this is the introductory video after entering the system i will show later after completion my demo another two such kind of uh, mechanism just two or three minutes okay just after entering the system this is the logging you have click the logging and this is the changing platform because uh, before it was uh, the urgund we are using the same user id password uh, with the same mechanism because they are now changing the platform every day day to day this platform is changing that's why i have to use every day and update it ourselves otherwise it is not possible to handle such kind of uh, software this is the logging to original my humble request to you on behalf of your senior faculties of your uh, faculties those who are just computer phobia or software phobia please use on behalf of them okay and officially i told you on this so user name basically bishwabharati mail id is our user id in case of original my user my mail id is the koushik.host@bishwabharati.ac.in and this is my entering the insight this is the insight feature so these are the already earlier uploaded site okay so how to upload your article or your thesis so this is the plus button if we click the plus button there are two types of one is upload uh, upload files another add folder so basically our article and the thesis basically belong from the files and i have already told how to create or arrange your files during your submission and maybe this file lying on your desktop or any external device either your pen drive or external device so if we click the files then automatically 
your uh, you have to select one files but it is the presentation that i am not selecting file because uh, automatically it will be uh, create my system uh, busy my system after just selecting the file just open and automatically one file selected within the system and as soon as it is uploaded during the time of the uploaded and they send one confirmation mail to my official mail as soon as i upload this file one confirmation mail i have received there's this particular files or the files name as such such uploaded in time and after 5 or 10 minutes later depend on the internet speed depend on the server speed depend on the file size because those who are basically belong from the finance those who are basically belong from the geography there are lots of files if the file size more than 25 mb if the file size more than 25 mb then it will be problematic it is my practical and um, experience it will be create or arrange uh, result it will be problematic so it is better because most of the cases without having any plates are within 1 2 3 mb okay so after submission of the article one confirmation mail and automatically after 5 or 10 minutes one percentage will be appear in such a way this is the similarity just i'll show you with the existing one if we select the this one file automatically at a glance it will show the seven percent of significance that is seven percent of similarity then you have to during your final journey you have to note down this word count because you have to fill up one examination form there are few metadata field you have to fill up like number of words of your file name of the software etc etc so this is the number of word count which you have already submitted the set file then open report if we click the open report the seven percent how how it will be similar seven percent the analysis the report will show you this is the analysis overview Okay, so this is the matching test. This is the similarity checking. I'll show you. This is the matching. This is the matching test. Okay. Result will show you how to match your existing file with the web in such a way. If we click next, 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 then automatically machine show you the your matching both from your existing file along with your web. then and there is a possibility to go directly to the source from from the research uh, copying particular the sources if we go directly go to the source automatically your system go to directly to the particular sources which is available in the web so the sources is here and this particular this particular theme is also related to the noxal body etc it is not the copying hopefully he cited the recognition 
So that's why you may go page by page along with the source. Then open report. Okay, I will show you another from the English. Two files. Open report. <laughs> I will show you another which is available in the English. Okay. Similarity. Okay, then if the percentage in such a way you have to your your supervisor or those who are handling with the analysis, so go to the directly to the your sources and if the result is below ten percent, then create the report and export the report with PDF. Then if we click the export the report, then total your analysis account will be converted in a PDF format, and this is the report. And this report will be original report. And this report looks like in such a way. This is the title of the thesis. This is the file name, basically. This is the submitted by myself, and this is the submitted by the email ID, and this is the submitted by the analysis account. That's why, according to the new regulation, you have to submit your own thesis or own article for publication from your supervisor either or your subject expert. Because in, if I create this report, it will be reflected my name, my email address, my email uh, analysis account, my name also. And the significance is the 2%. So this is the total report. And you have to incorporate this total thesis in your CDs like uh, soft copies of the CDs, and you have to incorporate these first pages of the report just after your supervisor certificate. This is the original auto-generate certificate, need not require any certificate. So this is your first page of the report is your certificate, and this certificate incorporate in the hard copy of the thesis just after the supervisor certificate. But Total report, the short copy of the total report in PDF version, you have to incorporate as a short copy in CDs. Why we submit the short copy of the CDs along with the hard copy? Why we submit the short copy of the thesis along with the hard copy? Because if you are, if you are having the one supervisor, you have to submit the four number of hard copy of the thesis along with the four number of the CDs, along with your synopsis, along with your all chapters, like a format, along with the report. And these CDs, it will be converted in the Swatkonga after awarded from the universe. And all such kind of awarded thesis is now available 
in open domain as hod ganga and it is the open digital initiatives by government of india maintained and maintained by the infinitnet and what is the difference between the because it is the related so ganga how many you are now heard the terminology is for gangotri hopefully you are all because ganga comes from the gangotri that's why swad ganga comes from the swad gangotri gangotri first come first then ganga gangotri is the proposal the reservoir and repository of the research proposal during time your bos is the research proposal not synopsis synopsis at the end of your journey there is there is a so many differences in between the proposal and the synopsis because during your journey you just submit one proposal and after 5 years it will be reflected since in another way maybe or may not be that's why all such kind of research proposal are uploaded in shod gangotri then all the research awarded thesis is repository is shod ganga so my humble request to you all after completion of your coursework after proposal after just approval of your proposal which you submitted during time your uh, bos during the time your admission you have uploaded it in shod gangotri by yourself either or by us because there are two types of uploading of of your shod gangotri so there is a very user friendly guide how to upload my research proposal why research proposal is very important to avoid the duplication of your research because after completion of your journey you have already watched that same almost same domain one research have already awarded that's why research proposal shod gangotri is very important for you okay this is the end of my today's deliberation and i am asking asking and expecting question related to my today's topic so this is my mail id feel free to contact through mail and my whatsapp number is also available in vishwabharati library network our team it is better to send your query through mail either or whatsapp not to direct call okay i am try to answer my level based with my limitation to your question just i am just going through few questions tomara ko chinta शो फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लास्ट वॉट इज द पास वॉट ऑफ ऑरिजिनल एक्चुअली basically yeah. the user id analysis account is applicable for the faculty members and there is another category for student account you have to create by own the student account but you have to collect one analysis account hopefully each of the faculty member having their analysis account so you may submit your article directly to the urkun by using one analysis account this is ana one question i have completed my pg what is the pattern of answer how many times we can check the plagiarism for any article in the original platform according to the new regulation for the thesis you have to submit once just before the printing of your thesis okay i will send the ppt letter please sir tell again the pattern of original i have already answered how can i access up using the gmail id how can sir access the software mm -hmm. 
how can i use other within the email basically those who are belong from the student category there is a provision and option for student account you have to create by own but you have to during your submission you have to collect one analysis account you have to, basically those who are basically belong from the lab base those who are belong from science just write down the analysis address to your lab from your collect the analysis account from your teacher and use because you have to publish one article one or two article more than one article most of the publisher told us please create by own the report of the uh, plagiarism software true plagiarism software okay okay this is the almost if any question feel free to contact me otherwise time is almost going to five i have concluded after the conference session within five kono question thakle tomader thakle korte paro jodi kono question thake ar jodi kono question na thake janbo je ami khub ekta bhalo deliberation dite parini tumra bujhte paro ni sei jonno tomader kono question nei thik ache hello sir kono ki tumra bolo ha good evening sir actually i have a wrote one question kindly if you please see that one please tell me tell me directly sir this is javed akta from psb from the department of soil science and agriculture chemistry sir caller yes sir i no, have no, completed no. my pg for from psb also sir no you are a registered scholar yeah i am a research scholar okay please tell sir how can i upload my pg research work in sodh ganga no actually sodh ganga is the indian thesis reservoir is the thesis reservoir okay sir okay your pg or dissertation it will be not reflected in the sodh ganga all the indian universities awarded thesis reservoir okay okay sir any it is it is not applicable for the dissertation okay bhai okay sir yes okay, okay. please so oh, actually dissertation is is applicable for your master journey basically and in case of the thesis basically you have to according to the hypothesis you have to prove at least few new things which is hidden in the society which is dormant stage in the society this is the in which department the dissertation for thesis the terminology they mentioned the thesis but but it is applicable for thesis maybe this is equivalent to the dissertation they they may use the they may use i don't know the thesis terminology but this is applicable this is the equivalent for the dissertation hopefully because all the department having the master curriculum having their own dissertation curriculum also yes sir many in our mphil we use the term mphil may be mphil may be because uh, after completion of your mphil journey you may start your uh, thesis from mphil apart onwards or either from the new topic that's why there is a another little chapter and the end of the thesis the scope of your near future because we have to just narrow down our journey we have to just area we have to choose one area it is not possible to elaborate all the areas yes just one ready made form is available in the vishwabharati website sir we already have that form but vishwabharati mail id no no 
and only passwords can be used. Because computer department, computer department providing you all both the mail ID as well as the MOE user ID passwords. Yeah, sure, this is a separate issue. This is because this Vishwaparati mail ID, Vishwaparati dot ac dot is, uh, dot in, it recognize your institutional status. NDLI, Asian Archives, Research Gate, and there are so many academic integrity uh, just accounts you may create by own to your Vishwaparati mail ID. Amraki Seskorti, Seskorti Naki, Okay, thank you very much.